Homes in the village of Ratchak were still smoldering on Saturday, a day after Serb forces launched an attack on separatist Kosovo Liberation Army fighters. At first, it appeared that a number of civilians had been caught in the crossfire. But international observers, led by the American William Walker, now say as many as 45 civilians were executed by Serb forces. Surviving villagers say the Serb police separated men from their families on Friday before herding them up a hill where they were shot. All the dead were wearing civilian clothing, among them a young woman, a 12-year-old boy, and many older men, including one aged 70. It's hard to find words to say anything about it. This is, this is about as uh, horrendous an event as I've seen, and I've been in some pretty, pretty nasty situations. Uh. While the West decides how to respond to the massacre, Serb police have already defended their actions in the village. They say the dead were armed rebels killed in combat and not civilians. They showed journalists a number of weapons they claim to have captured in the fight. But Western observers have described the massacre as a crime against humanity. They're urging prosecutors from the International War Crimes Tribunal to investigate. Unfortunately, I do not have the words to describe my personal revulsion or that of all who were with me at the sight of what can only be described as an unspeakable atrocity. Observers have urged Kosovan fighters not to be drawn into revenge killings and further jeopardize the unsteady ceasefire.